That's right, what's up? All right. Y'all hear what I just said? Three more days. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Three more days until epicness. 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 Let's go. Hey, type a three in the chat real quick. Somebody type a three in the chat. All right. Before we get started. Give the stream a thumbs up, like, like, like. We are at 65 likes to start the stream. That's a good start. That's a good start. That is a good start. Hey, Johnny hitting on my mic. Johnny! Hey, Johnny, get me my digital PS5, bro. I need you, Johnny. Hey, I see the threes going up in the chat let's go hey super tight and just um just followed me on twitch that's cool but we have a couple of dope news items to talk about i said like we're at 81 likes let's get it to 100 likes i need 20 people to give the stream a thumbs up then if you want to join a dope 
gaming community we are about to be lit on the ps5 become a member of the ogc obi-wan plays gaming championship um you have to be on my friend list on playstation i game with the sponsors monday through thursday nights uh, but here's the thing i won't be gaming until the ps5 drops on thursday morning so um sponsors we, we gotta be lit on thursday morning but there will be no gaming streams on my gaming channel obi-wan plays gaming championships until um thursday morning when the playstation drops i formatted my playstation 4 pro it's getting out of here bro it's going to GameStop. once a new generation starts i'm done with the old generation bro i ain't gonna be turning this thing back on and so hey bishop just followed me on twitch and so um um won't be gaming until thursday also hey john you said assassin's creed valhalla's fire we're gonna talk about that later in the stream good 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 stuff bro well assassin's creed series always been solid bro so that's sort of expected it's sort of expected we're gonna talk about it though all right so thumbs up join adult gaming community and the last housekeeping item before we start the stream um $60 digital code giveaway for subscribers for subscribers um every month you can choose between a Nintendo Switch Xbox or PlayStation $60 digital code all you have to do is subscribe to this channel right now and follow me on Twitter if you're already subscribed make sure your notifications are on so you get in the noti gang as soon as i go live for my streams bruh all right the stream about to start we're only we're already at 96 likes i only need four people to give the stream a thumbs up and then we'll be at 100 likes i'm starting to knock over my mic my fire mic johnny stop hitting on my mic johnny hey <laughs> all right let's get this thing started the first news item for today's tonight's stream this is coming from playstationlifestyle.net sony has begun shipping playstation 5 consoles out to customers that's right playstation 5s are already being shipped fans could be getting their consoles as early as tomorrow and as late as the end of the week so anytime between the 10th to the 12th uh, most will probably get it around the 12th but are uh, we crushed 100 likes shout out to everybody in the chat appreciate the love appreciate the support thank you guys for coming up to the stream we're lit all right so the first news item Sony has begun shipping. A broken said I didn't have to format your PS4. GameStop was gonna do that for you. I don't trust them, bro. Bro, I've received consoles from GameStop and they still had user information on there, bro. Nah, man. Too much money, bro. I gotta make sure my stuff is formatted before, before it, they um, <laughs> mess with my stuff. Hey, Ace, I see you in the chat. What's up, Ace? What's up, bro? Hey, all right. Um, we got some late news, man. And so, PlayStation 5s have already started shipping out, bro. The console generation next gen will be officially here. It's already here. Next gen is here, bro, because dudes already got their Xbox Series X and S consoles. That hit with the $2 super chat. Did you play Demon Souls on PS3? Obi Wan can't wait. I've never played a Souls games. Dudes are trolling me in my Discord saying I ain't about to beat. I, I, I'm not gonna beat the game because I'll be putting my games on easy, bro. I'm beating Demon Souls, bro. I'm telling you, man. After I beat Cuphead, I feel like I beat any game, bro. After I beat Cuphead, I beat it twice. I beat Cuphead twice. I can beat any game. I'm beating Demon Souls on that PS5. We're going to be lit. Now, y'all know. Y'all already know if you've been rocking with your boy. I'm going to, hey, that hip. Thanks for the $2 super chat. Um, But I'm looking forward to playing the game, man. The game looks lit. It looks amazing. Y'all already know, though. The main game I'm going to be on next gen will be... 
um, 2K. But, 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 I will be playing other games. We're still gonna be lit. Um, can't wait, man, for next gen. All right, and so, um, I'm, I'm trying to um, get my uh, uh, the trailer up. I was just talking about 2K, so I'm, I'm putting it right here. I'm putting that at the end. We're gonna talk about 2K at the end. But, hey, Knights, hype, hype, hype. Let's go. Thanks for the $2 super chat, my guy. Appreciate the support. Appreciate the love. The news is lit today. All right, so the article says Sony has officially, hey, Royal Ben with the Canadian five dollar so much hype obi-wan i don't know if i will make it man I, royal ben bro <laughs> hey the dudes in my uh, that's why you gotta become a sponsor bro you get behind the scenes access with your boy bro i kid you not in the discord we were up at four o'clock in the discord fat boy wars <laughs> xbox versus playstation i couldn't sleep bro i was so hyped for the PlayStation 5, the launch of the new console, we got to be lit. Hey, so Royal Ben with the $5 Super Chat. Appreciate it, bro. Brandon Davis with the $5 Super Chat. Just sold the Alienware laptop and desktop today. PC gaming is way overrated. Uh-oh, you just started something, Brandon. You just started something. Hey, but I, I echo your sentiments. PC gaming is way overrated. This is Brandon, not me saying it. Too much hassle. Any inside info on <coughs> where I can get, still get a PS5 at launch? If you're still trying to get a PS5 at launch, check your local Target. Walmart may have some spare online. No, Walmart is. Walmart. Wa bro, is that Milanus? Hey, shout out to the Milanus, bro. He's an OG sponsor. Hey, Milanus, hope you've been doing good, bro. Um... <coughs> Um, Walmart, Walmart has confirmed, Walmart has confirmed PS, they will be having pre-orders for PS5s and Xbox Series X consoles on the 12th, on launch day. They're going to have four different hours, <coughs> four different times where you can order a PS5 console and... Um, one time at 12 noon, you can get your Xbox Series X. Um, Johnny in the Discord. Why? Um, Odetta, mostly I ain't Discord is lit, bro. Hey, what did Johnny say? Did Johnny? I thought I saw a post about Yeah, Johnny. Obi, why are you telling the PC hater where to get the PS5? Hey, PS5 is gonna be lit, man. Walmart, win Walmart, boys. So check your Walmart. All right. Sony has officially begun shipping PlayStation 5s out in time for the console's November 12th launch. A number of users based in the United States have reported receiving shipping confirmation emails. And I did see some dudes um, posting their confirmation emails. <laughs> and FedEx is taxed with handling the deliveries. All right. The delivery requires a signature from the recipient. So rest assured your console won't be left on your doormat for someone else to snap up. Bro. Dude's gonna be peeking out their windows like it's Christmas morning trying to get these PS5s, all right? And so, also, 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 last week Sony confirmed that PS5s won't be sold in stores at launch. So, if you try to just walk into a store, pick up a PS5, more than likely your success rate will be horrible. Will be horrible. So, um, make sure you um a GameStop tweeted they selling Xbox sometimes tonight. Wow. Oh, in stores for tomorrow's arms. All right, so GameStop just tweeted out. Shout out to Bucks, bro. Breaking news. That's why you tune in to Obi-Wan plays. Bro, we're at 140 likes. I need 10 people to give the stream a thumbs up. Let's get it over 150 likes. Hey, shout out to Bucks. <laughs> This is breaking news. GameStop just tweeted they're selling Xbox X Xbox seriously, I don't know Xbox consoles tonight. All right, let me read their official tweet. We'll have a very limited number of Xbox Series X and S consoles bundles bundles. This is probably going to be 700 800 dollars for purchase. At, and they gave their website this evening and in stores 
for tomorrow's launch. I told y'all, bro. Hey, this is good news and bad news. I'm gonna keep it a buck. Hey, I gotta keep a spade a spade. Do you see GameStop tweeting out? They're gonna have PS5s available. Let me, I'm gonna click on this tweet. I mean, I'm gonna click on GameStop. Let me go to GameStop to see if they have any available PS5s, bro. Let me go. I'm telling y'all, dudes thought I was just trolling when I said on launch day, <laughs> you're gonna be able to walk into GameStop and pick up an Xbox, bro. Dudes thought I was just hating, thought that I was just trolling, but GameStop just confirmed what I've been telling y'all all along. They're going to have console for purchase this evening and in stores tomorrow for launch. So tomorrow, tomorrow, ladies and gentlemen, if you did not get an Xbox Series S or S, you can walk into GameStop and pick one up tomorrow, bro. Tomorrow, go and get your Xbox, bruh. I told y'all. <laughs> Colossus says it's like the Wii U. It's like the Wii U, Colossus. Hey, shout out to Colossus, bro. I see his, a couple of OG homies in the chat. Hey, um, it ain't no, hey, you are not going to be able to pre order no PS5 tonight, bro. So don't press your luck. Bro, it would be lit if you could walk in or launch there and pick up a PS5 because sometimes it's just based on availability. How much are they going to flood the store shelves with their consoles? So, um, GameStop just tweeted, um, hey, we don't want these extra Xboxes laying around, bro. Somebody come pick up these Xboxes. <laughs> so, go get you an Xbox, bro. All right. But, as far as PS5s, <coughs> going back to this article, no units will be available in store for purchase on launch day. They remind us. Please don't plan on camping out, lining up at your local retail on launch day in hopes of finding a PS5 console for purchase. And I was at Target today and they told me the same thing. If you're trying to get a PS5, you gotta pre-order it, order it ahead of time online and come in store to pick it up. And so now is the time though, especially on the 12th, Walmart has confirmed PS5s will be available. Go, go if you haven't gotten one yet, Make sure you're you're um ready to go at Walmart online. They have four different times during the day to get you a PS5, brah. All right, the news. I'm telling you, man. Excuse my heightness right now, bro. You have to, ex bro. From now onto the launch of the PlayStation 5. Hold on. This is what I'm getting, bro. Bro, from now until the launch of the PS5. Gotta cut my hair. The hype hat will be on, boys and girls. Bro, this is the most hype. I've been for the launch of a console since the GameCube, bro. No cap. Since the GameCube, bro. I wasn't too hyped for the Wii. I wasn't too hyped for the Wii U. Though I still enjoyed both consoles. The Xbox 360, I was looking forward to a next gen. PS3, I was um, looking forward to it too. But something about this PS5 just feels refreshing, man. It feels lit, bro. Even the Switch. <laughs> I was hyped for the Switch, but not on this level, man. Not on this level, bro. And so, we are ready. You are not ready. I don't know about them old PS1 ads. They had a red E, letter E. You are not ready, bro. We're at 170 likes. I need 30 people to give the stream a thumbs up. Let's crush, let's crush 200 likes live pond stream. That's how we say it in my homeland, Jamaica, bruh. 
I live in Florida, bro. I grew up in the United States. I was born in Jamaica, bro. You know what I'm saying? You want a history of Obi-Wan? I went to the University of Florida, bro. Got three master's degrees, bro. Well married, bro. We got six kids, bro. All right, all right, all right. Let me stop just talking. All right. Um. Next news item. Red E. Let's go, Bowser. Let's go. All right. This is coming from Twitter user German Strands. Check out what he tweeted out. Returnal, Gran Turismo 7, and Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart are anticipated for the first half of 2021. The second half of 2021, Horizon Forbidden West. And let me add in there, Kena Bridges Spirits already confirmed first half. Brandon, I'm going to show you some love in a second. Kena Bridges Spirits confirmed first half. And God of War, the second, confirmed for the second. Bro, Sony is killing it with exclusives, bro. Sony is killing it with games, bro. We can have debates about specs, RDNA 2, custom RDNA, um, flip flops, terra flops, and whatnot. But at the end of the day, we are going to be playing games. At the end, a higher is higher than the recommend. We made a user stream rate of 9,500. 9, YouTube trying to suggest how I, um, what bitrate I should be using. Bro! Hey, RIP Etika, Isaiah. I know Etika would be lit for the PS5. Bro! At the end of the day, it comes down to the games. Hey, let me show Brandon some love real quick before I go. Hey, Brandon, appreciate the $5 super chat. Here's another five just to reiterate. PC... <laughs> Hey, you the GOAT, Brandon. <laughs> Just to reiterate, PC gaming is terrible. Wasting over $5,000 between the two Alienwares. Consoles are just better, especially now. Yeah, Brandon. Hey, and shout out to Dathip. I'm so hyped for Horizon 2 next year. Game of the year. Bro, Dathip, the developers for God of War already said that God of War is going to be game of the year. Sony is not Playing. Like going back to my point. Wait, first, hey Brandon, I echo your sentiments, bro. I'm not really hating. If you play on PC, do you, bro? I've just always been a console gamer. I like the simplicity of console. You just turn it on and go. You don't have to worry about constant updates. You don't have to worry about what specs are recommended, what you need to play a certain game. The game's already optimized for your console, bro. And the PS5 at launch will be on par with most high-end PCs, bro. So we're gonna be good, bro. We're gonna be good. I know dudes are already typing because I know what PC dudes think. They're already like, eh, I mean, when? But the uh, three three thousand series just came out, bro. PS5 can't hang, bro. The Xbox can't hang, bro, bro. In about three four years, we're gonna have the PS5 Pro or something like that. Cons, we good on this console side, bro. PC don't have no lit exclusives, bro. I was asking PC dudes the other day. Bro, name me some lit PC exclusives. They're talking about League of Legends and World of Warcraft, bro. I was like, now nah, end of discussion. All right. Hey, shout out to Royal Ben 2 with the $5 super chat. Here's another five, my dude. The hype too real. The hype is too real, bro. The hype is too real, bro. Where you at, bro? Oscar Wheat with the $1 super chat. Appreciate the support any amount, Oscar. Thanks for the one dollar love, my G. Hey, and so the lineup for the PS5 is incredible. Sony was not capping. They were not capping when they said the lineup for the PS5 will be the best lineup in PlayStation history, and they have delivered. This is just facts. We can debate specs and all that between the Xbox and, and PlayStation all day, but when it comes to the game lineup, it's not 
even close. And I hate, because I know there's dudes watching, and like, man, I just spent $500 on my Xbox, bro. $300. Play your Xbox, bro. You're still going to have games to play, bro. I'm hearing Assassin's Creed runs and looks beautiful on the Xbox Series X. Uh, when Cyberpunk come out, y'all would be lit, bro, even though those games are still going to be on the PS5. But... I'm just keeping a, a spade a spade, a buck a buck. The game lineup for the PlayStation 5 is incredible, bro. The exclusives, bro. We lit, bro. Let's go, bro. What you know, bro. All right, and so I thought this was, this was a lit, lit, lit tweet. Just reminding us of the epicness that's coming even in 2021. My favorite Sony IP is Ratchet and Clank. And so, I'm super hyped for the launch games, but the best ain't even here yet, bro. Gran Turismo 7 looks amazing. Kena Bridge of Spirits looks amazing. We lit, bro. You said my bitrate too high, that's why it skips. Oh, that might adjust my bitrate for trash YouTube. They can't handle my super powerful PC, broken. My 980 Ti, I still got a 980 Ti, bro. I don't need to upgrade. I can stream in 4K, that's all I need, bro. All right, next news item. The news is lit today, bruh. Sony. Man, I should text my wife, turn down the air conditioning level. I'm starting to sweat. Hey, next news item is lit. Turn down AC. I'm hot. All right. The next news item, I'm telling you, the PlayStation 5 launch is here. Bullet Club, NBA 2K21. We're going to talk about that 2K at the end of the stream. Bro, Sony on the official PlayStation blog has come out with... The ultimate FAQ for PlayStation 5 owners. And so, what I'm about to share with the chat is your one-stop shop. Everything you need to know about the PlayStation 5. Why? Because it's time for the launch. Hey, we crushed 200 likes. Let's get to 250 likes, bruh. And I need somebody to subscribe right now. If you're watching the stream and you're not subscribed to my channel, click subscribe, $60 digital code. You enter a $60 digital code giveaway just by subscribing. How lit is that, bro? All right. Everything you need to know about the PlayStation 5 all in one place. The release dates, if you've been living under a rock, November 12th for the US, United Kingdom, and Europe on the 19th. All right. The difference between the PS5 console and the PS5 digital edition. Now, some were actually confused a bit between the PS5 Blu-ray and the digital because Xbox's all digital console actually has lower specs, but the only difference between the PS5 console and the PS5 Digital Edition console is the inclusion of an Ultra HD Blu-ray disc drive in the PS5 console. The PS5 Digital Edition console does not feature a disc drive. I am trying to get both, bro. I'm already secured my physical. Now I'm trying to get the digital for the kids. It's gonna be a surprise and they are gonna be lit. All right, all right. The PS5 Digital Edition does not have an Ultra HD Blu-ray disc drive. All right, and uh, all right, it says, yeah, yeah, so that's the main difference. All right, are there any performance differences between those two iterations? No. What are the physical dimensions of PS5 console and digital console? How much do they weigh? A lot, let me just tell y'all that. Um, it's 4.5 kilograms. Bro, this is the largest home console ever. Can I use both consoles in horizontal vertical editions? Yes. Will PS5 be available in other color schemes? This is what they say. A hey, Oscar Wheat with the $5 super chat. Keep doing your thing, bruh. Fives up. 
I got five on it. Hey, appreciate the love, Oscar. Do don't don't do don't don't do don't don't. Hey, appreciate it, bro. This is what Sony says. There won't be additional colors or designs available for the PS5 models at launch. Now, we all know the PS5, um, the side plates are detachable. There's going to be crazy colors and customization options. Uh, one company, Plate Station, they tried to capitalize on the situation and Sony threatened legal action and they had to stop selling the colored plates. But they just said at launch, and I actually like the white design. It looks futuristic. It looks sleek. But they just said at launch. So very, very, very much expect and anticipate. My high pack keeps messing up with this. Um, the headset. Hold on, did I just put something? Oh no, 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 I didn't. So at launch, just at launch, no cut, no new colors. All right. All right. Um, ultras. What's special about the PlayStation 5's SSD? Now, one of the things Sony highlighted was the speed of the PlayStation 5. PlayStation 5's ultra high speed SSD and integrated custom IO system. Hey, wake up to reality. Just subscribe. You just got in a $60 digital code giveaway, my guy. Um, we developed the goal of removing barriers to play, specifically load screens. Developers are able to stream assets into PS5 games at an incredibly fast rate. So PS5 play experiences can be seamless and dynamic with near instantaneous fast travel through large game worlds. This enhanced speed will enable game developers to create larger, richer worlds without traditional limitations such as load times and also allows gamers to spend more time gaming and not waiting. So let's go. Now, what's the difference between the PlayStation 5's ultra high speed SSD and other SSDs? This is where the PS5 shines. The 5.5 gigabytes read-through bandwidth of PS5's ultra-high-speed SSD is on the cutting edge thanks to its advanced, highly customized design and integrated I.O., including a custom decompressor. We developed it with the specific goal of reducing load times and maximizing the developer's ability to access game data at super fast speeds. When this was first announced, there weren't even any M.2 drives, SSD um, cards compatible with the PlayStation 5 um, SSD because it was so fast so it was so fast and so can't wait can't wait all right next next big question that i think is important for us to know as gamers let me turn down my music i just realized my music might be a little loud. what level was up oh so i was all it was turned up bro <laughs> does ps5 improve my ability to download and store games this is big this is major this is important Similar to PlayStation 4, PS5 games can offer a feature called Preferred Install that allows players to choose which part of a game to install first. This can now allow a player to prioritize access to a particular mode or feature. An example could be prioritizing the installation of the single player or multiplayer components of a game. In supported PS5 games, Players can also choose, check this out, to remove specific modes or content they no longer want in order to free up storage. I'm thinking of Call of Duty right now. I'm probably not going to touch Call of Duty single player campaign. So if I'm not going to play it, I don't have to keep it on my system and I can delete the single player and just keep the multiplayer. That's lit. All right. Developers will ultimately determine the level of support offered for these features. So this is game by game. It's based on whatever the developer wants to do, but a dope, dope, dope option. 
Now this is controversial. Can I store or play PS5 games from a USB drive? No. No. Players cannot transfer games to a USB, PS5 games to a USB drive. PS5 games must be stored on the console's internal ultra high speed SSD for gameplay. Because that's how they form, made the system, you cannot store PS5 games on an external. I have a four terabyte external hard drive for my PS4 Pro, a eight terabyte for my Xbox One X. And so you can't store PS5 games on that. Now, this is also controversial. <laughs> Can I expand PS5's ultra high speed SSD storage? All right, as I reported um, the past couple days, the PS5 will only come with 667 available gigabytes on the SSD. Although it says 825, after the UI and everything else, maybe catch and all that, you're only gonna have 667 available space. The PS5 features an expansion port that will, in the future, enable players to add M.2 SSD storage to be used for installing and playing PS5 games. This M.2 SSD storage upgrade functionality will come to PS5 after launch as part of a system software update. We'll share more details in the future, including around which type of M.2 storage drive will be compatible with the PS5. On day one, you'll be able to connect a compatible USB drive and use it to store and play PS4 games. You'll be able to play PS4 games while they remain stored on the external device. PS5 games need to reside on the PS5's internal SSD. And so, tons and tons of information about the PS5. Talks about ray tracing. The PS5 will have ray tracing. Their feature, feature game, Spider-Man Miles Morales, will highlight ray tracing. Um, and so... <laughs> um, a lot, a lot, a lot of information. You can go to the uh, PlayStation blog um, website and check out everything you need to know about the PlayStation 5. Bro, this next news item is pretty lit. This is coming from PSU.com. New DualSense controller colors are in the pipeline, confirmed by Sony. And so, oh man, this controller, I can't wait for it to come to life in three days. This controller, Sony has confirmed that new colors will be coming. Speaking in its, and, and it was um, in the same um, um, FAQ, but this article says, speaking in PS5's FFQ on the PlayStation blog, Sony Entertainment has revealed that it plans to release different color DualSense controllers um, beyond the standard version that ships, all right? They didn't um, reveal any uh, um, details, but they did let us know that in the future, this is what Sony officially says. In the future, other colors will become available, but there are no announcements to share at this time. And so, we will be able to have more dual sense controllers, um, colors um, in the future, which is pretty dope, pretty dope, um, sort of expected. So that's good to know, good to know, good to know. All right. <clears throat> I found this next article to be very interesting. This is coming from GameRant.com. Sony reaffirms commitment to the Japanese gaming market. I have to admit, it does seem like Sony is focusing more on the Western market. Just think of the launch lineup. 
heavy western leaning type games godfall screams west dude bro um combat um um other launch games it just seems like sony is focusing more on the western market but they are a japanese company this is this was, was very telling too with them focusing on the west just the size of the console japanese they like small compact devices that's why portables and handhelds do so well in japan playstation 5 is huge even the controller is larger than the dual shot 4 so they're going larger where japanese sort of like smaller um peripherals and devices but after questions regarding Sony's Western movement for the PlayStation brand, the company reaffirms its focus on the Japanese market. A facet of Sony's dominance in the video game console business has been its dedication to the Japanese market. And just these facts, Sony has been dominating the past couple generations. Ever since the original PlayStation, Sony's consoles have been home to the biggest Japanese games. Looking, for, looking toward the release of the PlayStation 5, that dominance is unlikely to change, according to the article. However, there are some who question whether Sony may be shifting its focus away from the Japanese market in favor of Western audiences. Bro, they got Travis Scott <laughs> as their spokesperson for the PS5, bro. They are focusing on the West. And I have to say this, the dedicated home console in Japan is not what it used to be. PlayStation 4 struggled in sales. Even though the PlayStation 4 sold, I know it's over 116 million. It struggled in Japan. And I think it's still struggling even today. Um, but in comments made to Bloomberg, Sony spokeswoman Natsumi Atarashi said, it's incorrect to believe PlayStation's focus is shifting away from Japan. Our home market remains of utmost importance, according to Adarashi. As an example, she points to the PlayStation 5 launching first in Japan. Japan's launch date is on November 12th, like in the USA. But time zone lead will lead to Japan being first in its rolling. Okay, so that's true. Just because a time zone, um, it comes first in Japan. And so... Um, However, Bloomberg's reporting implies that there's more to the story than appearances seem to imply. An unnamed source who is supposedly a senior figure from PlayStation headquarters in California describes a division between the U.S. and Japanese sides of the company. There's an internal civil war in Sony land. Specifically, there's frustration with Japan's marketing of the PS4 which has led to Japan not being involved in PS5 promotion. Wow. It should be acknowledged that even with potential internal frustrations, PS5 pre-orders in Japan are completely sold out. Demand for the PlayStation 5 is exceeding high in Japan, as Sony says that it stopped accepting, accepting early reservations entirely. It's possible that the marketing changes will be more impactful after launch demand wanes. It's also possible that Sony may have made the correct adjustment with its marketing and that Japan's enthusiasm for PlayStation will override any possible changes they make. To say that Sony and PlayStation aren't at the very least expanding their efforts in the West is clearly not true. PlayStation's current CEO, um, Jim Ryan, and President Jim Ryan, who came through the company in the West, uh, who came up through the company in the West. PlayStation headquarters were also moved to California. I didn't even realize that. That PlayStation headquarters is no longer in Japan, it's in the US. PlayStation headquarters were also moved to California in 2016. Sony isn't the same company that it was when the PlayStation 4 launched. But what that may mean will probably take years to find out. And uh, I'm going to stop right here with the article. But no one can deny that Sony has, as of during, during the whole PlayStation 4 era, has shifted more towards the Western market, which is, to be fair, the largest global market, gaming market, is in the U.S. 
And I didn't, I didn't realize that Sony, um, that the headquarters of PlayStation is now in California. So um, you could see it though with the marketing, the games at launch, even the games coming. Look what you just did, man. My son just came and made a mess on my gaming desk. Don't touch it. Um, in the West, um, coming uh, this year and next year, you can see they're focused on um, the Western market. So time will tell and see what happens. Bro, this next news item is interesting. PlayStation 5 game sharing details have been revealed. Sony reveals how the primary PS4 game sharing feature has been updated to work with its, Samuel, close the door all the way, its next gen console, the PlayStation 5. I will be game sharing with my kids. I will be game sharing with my kids. I'm gonna actually have their console as the primary console and my console in my game room as the secondary console we're gonna have they're gonna have the digital ps5 i'm gonna have the physical they don't know it yet it's gonna be a surprise i'm gonna do a video on my channel surprising them it's gonna be lit all right <coughs> the article says now game sharing is pretty dope if you have another family member or someone you really trust <coughs> y'all can share games meaning you can buy a game and they can also play it on their PS5 or they vice versa. They can buy a game and you can play it on your PS5, but you can only do game sharing with one other console. But this is something that Xbox does. Sony also does it. But we have more information on game sharing for the PS5. The PlayStation 4's game sharing feature, primary PS4, was something that a lot of PlayStation users found themselves using so a household of gamers could play one title without having to buy multiple copies. Sony has revealed that the PlayStation 5 will keep this feature as players transition over. Game sharing confirmed for the PlayStation 5, just with a different name. Not only that, but the feature has received an update that makes it even easier to use on the PlayStation 5. Shout out to everybody coming into the stream. We're at 250 likes. I need 50 people. Give the stream a thumbs up. Let's get it over 300 likes. Also, 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 if you're not subscribed, click subscribe to get in our $60 digital code giveaway sub to the channel. Primary PS4, as the name suggests, allows owners to set up one PS4 as their primary home console. Doing this allows anyone that uses the primary PS4 to access its entire library of media and video games, even if they log into it using a different account. On the PlayStation 5, this system will be called console sharing and offline play. It will basically offer the same service as primary PS4, allowing multiple users to access one account's digital content, even if the console isn't connected to the internet. And so, Sony has confirmed game sharing will be coming to the PlayStation 5, which I think is L-I-T, lit, lit, lit. Also, this is for dudes on the fence. Should I keep my PS4? Why should I keep my PS4? Um, this is coming from TheVerge.com. You can use your current PS4 to remote play your PS5 from another room. So, in essence, you can have possibly two PS5s in your house if you keep your PS4. So, let's say... You have your PS5 set up in a main gaming area. You have a game area, your living room or whatnot. But let's say sometimes you may want to um, game on your PS5 in your bedroom, but you don't feel like getting out of bed. You can connect your PS4 to your TV in your bedroom and using remote play, play your PS5 from your PS4. 
And so I think this is pretty dope. And for some dudes who may be, should I um, trade in my PS4? Or should I keep it? This is one another incentive and reason where you can possibly still keep your PS4 <coughs> and use it for remote play for your PS5. Um, but I do believe both consoles have to be connected to the same internet. So you can't be like at your boy's house playing your PS5 through their PS4. You have to be on the same internet connection. But PS5 remote play. Um, and there's an app already uh, has already popped up on the PS4. Um, offering up to 1080p stream from your new console to your existing one. And so the stream, the only downfall would be the stream quality will be maxed out at 1080p on your PS4. But I think this is still dope. A dope option for gamers to have. The more options, the better. Brah, we have a new Spider-Man Miles Morales launch trailer. Bro, did y'all hear what I just said? A launch trailer for Spider-Man Miles Morales. What does this mean? The game is here. The console's already being shipped. Dudes might get their consoles as early as tomorrow, bro. We don't know, bro. But Spider-Man Miles Morales has come out with a new launch trailer and some more good news from Insomniac Games. They had a series of tweets on their official Twitter account, but check this out. One controversy was... If you had Spider-Man, the original Spider-Man on your PlayStation 4, and you bought the Ultimate Edition for the PS5, originally, you couldn't transfer your save data. Check out what Insomniac Games has tweeted out today. We have heard you. In an upcoming update for Spider-Man PS4, we will add the ability to export your save to Miles M Marvel Spider-Man Remastered. This update will also add three new suits from the remaster to the PS4 game. We expect to bring you this update around Thanksgiving. So, in about a week or two after the launch of the PS5 Spider-Man Remastered, you will be able to transfer your PS4 data over, which I think is dope. Some fans wanted it. I've already beaten Spider-Man um, on my PS4, so I don't, I don't, um, Toby Rama says we get, I never got a $60 gift. Bro, you don't get, you don't get a, you didn't, you didn't win my giveaway, Toby Rama, just a random um, DM. All right. Hey, lit, lit, lit. I just got some news from Amazon. They're up to 31,000 physical extra units. So if you're still trying to get a PS5, November 12th, Amazon has 31,000 extra PS5s. Breaking news, inside source, we lit. It's legit, it's legit. Just told y'all that. All right, next news item. Also, also, speaking of Spider-Man, Miles Morales, um, there's a new blog on PlayStation um, official blog that goes into more detail shows highlights more features of um, spider-man miles morales including their adidas bro i gotta show this bro it looks so lit man bro the game is looking lit bro check out these adidas this is in game captured um spider-man miles morales it's looking clean bro how they have his his drip how the pants fit the adidas bro somebody urban did this bro this is lit this is lit and so it's showing more outfits for Spider-Man Miles Morales. Can't wait. This is a launch day. You already know we're going to be on that Miles Morales. All right. Um, as I was saying earlier in the stream, storage space, storage space is a controversy for the PlayStation 1. But it's a good thing Obi-Wan is here to help you out. Here are... The storage spaces for every PS5 launch game. Astro's Playroom, 11 gigabytes. Bug Snacks, 9 gigabytes. Call of Duty, Black Ops Cold War, 133 gigabytes. 
Demon Souls, 66 gigabytes. Devil May Cry, 42 gigabytes. Godfall, 24 gigabytes. Marvel's, uh, I mean, Spider-Man Miles Morales, 50 gigabytes. So you're gonna have a good chunk of your PS5 gone. And I'm gonna have NBA 2K21, which was already confirmed yesterday, to be 121 gigabytes. So at launch, your, your console, the space is already gonna be eaten up bro it's going to be taken bro all right we have some xbox news bro assassins um uh, xbox leaked on the internet pictures of an xbox series x assassin's creed valhalla bundle here are the leaked images of Xbox Series X consoles with Assassin's Creed Valhalla bundled in and Ubisoft and Xbox have done this in the past and so I sort of anticipated this coming so dope 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 interesting to see is the price going to be higher or is it going to be the same price I more than likely it's going to be the same $500 price and it comes with Assassin's Creed Valhalla so if you're looking to get an Xbox Series X and you haven't gotten one yet, a bundle, a bundle is on the way. Speaking of Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Oh, I, I skipped a news item. I'm coming back um, to a news item. Um, oh, let's, let's go back to that. We'll come back to Assassin's Creed. Bro. Bro. All right. This is lit. We do know one thing Xbox has been having a Dre Day reviews with the $5 super chat. What's up, bro? Have you heard of PS5s having game share yet? I'm scared. Yes, Dre Day, I just talked about it. Um, game sharing has been confirmed for the PlayStation 5. So you will, thanks for the $5 super chat, and you will be able to game share with your PS5. All right. Xbox has been touting through Game Pass at launch their first party games. But Sony, as of late, has been teasing what could possibly be to come. First, PlayStation Plus Collections is lit. Great games that you get with PlayStation Plus. Also, confirmed Destruction All-Star in February, which was a $70 game now it's going to be included with PlayStation Plus for free in February. Also just announced Bug Snacks. I wasn't going to get this game. But it's going to be free at launch with PlayStation Plus. So I'm going to download it. There's a new article from GameSpot in which Sony addresses their PlayStation Plus plans going forward. We need to pay attention to this. As the PS5 approaches, Sony has detailed, I'm telling you, if Sony really wanted to, and I think they are going to, give Xbox a run for their money when it comes to Game Pass um, this generation. Sony has detailed how it will handle free games during the transition phase. And I tell you, man, you already get your money's worth so much of your money's worth with um, PlayStation Plus. You pay $60 for the year, but the, with the quality of the games you get for free, you get it all back. With the PS5 just days away, Sony has detailed how it plans to dole out PlayStation Plus rewards going forward. While it seems as if the service will continue to focus on giving out PS4 games for the immediate future. <coughs> it seems to be aiming at adding PS5 games to the rotation in the long term. We're about to start getting free PS5 games. This is what they say. All PlayStation Plus members will continue to receive at least two great PS4 games each month. So, we can still expect at least two PS OB1 built like a bug snack. <laughs> Kool-Aid, you funny, bro. 
Um, we, they said, we're still going to be able to receive at least two PS4 games each month. Sony said it. A, you bad because I'll be playing Bug Snacks, bro. Sony said it a PS5 FAQ, and it's the same thing I talked about earlier. It is our goal to add PS5 games regularly to the monthly gaming lineup. Oh, this is what I have on the iPad. Let me read that again. This is what Sony just confirmed. It is our goal to add PS5, not four, PS5 games regularly to the monthly games lineup. So check back with us at PS Blog for our monthly PlayStation Plus announcements. And I could imagine and just tell, because right now PS5 games availability is limited. But as more PS5 games become available, expect more free lit content. Hey, what's up, Pot of Luck? I'm going to hop in the voice chat in about 15 minutes, bro, to chop it up with the sponsors. We're going to talk about some stuff, bro. All right. Sony has already announced two PS5 games, and I talked about that. Bug Snacks and Destruction All-Stars. All right. And so more PS5 games will be free with your PlayStation Plus um, um, subscription. All right, it says, YouTube receiving, as such, viewers will experience buffering. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to adjust my bit rate a little bit um, um, for my streams, or my new streams in the future. Mr. Lackey77, just subscribe. You just got in a $60 digital code giveaway, my guy. All right. Um, Assassin's Creed, that's what I was, alright, real quick, Assassin's Creed Valhalla, the reviews have been coming in, and right now, as it stands, the game stands at an 82, a respectable 82 on Metacritic, which is pretty solid, um, and sort of expected. What I am hearing, though, it's a phenomenal game, but not better than Assassin's Creed Odyssey. That Assassin's Creed Odyssey it's still better than Valhalla. Um, and one complaint that I have, and we talked about it like yesterday with the sponsors, is the games do get a little repetitive, some of the missions and goals. But this game looks dope, and I would. I'm a big fan of the Assassin's Creed series. I would pick up this game. But there's so many other launch games I'm going to be playing. Speaking of launch games, blah, 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 blah. The game I'm most hyped, one of the games I'm most hyped. I'm hyped for so many games on my PS5. NBA 2K, this is one of the benefits of the Xbox coming out two days early. They get to play 2K before we do. And NBA 2K, tons of gameplay has been flooding the internet um, because it's launched on the Xbox, but I cannot wait to get this game on the PS5. If you wanna run with your boy on the PS5, become a member of the OGC, become a sponsor. I'm, I'm going to prioritize dudes with shooting builds. At least an 86 three-point shot will be the number one priority. I will run with anyone, any of the sponsors, but I'm going to prioritize dudes that can green them three-point shots. We're going to be spreading the floors. We're going to be ISOing, bra. We ain't going to be hiding behind screens, bra. We're going to be gaming, bra. I mean, we're still going to be setting screens. Screens is a part of the game, so I don't, I don't knock dudes for um, setting screens, but... Uh, we're going to be awesome just for channel channel content. Uh, I'm going to be gaming a lot on my gaming channels, 2K. All right, dudes. Um, Let me hop into the voice chat. Hey, yo, pot of luck. What up, bro? What up, Obi? Hey, I'm chilling, bro. What you up to, man? Getting ready to get my PS5. Hey, I'm telling you, bro. I'm hyped. Where did you get your PS5 through? Uh, I got a GameStop. I'm going to be picking it up in my store. All right, dope, dope. Hey, I was at GameStop today, and even though I, I pre-ordered my, my PS5 during the second wave, they did confirm that I'm good to go, and they're opening yeah. at, because during the pandemic, they've opened at 12, but they're moving up the time to 10. To 10. So Same. I can go in at 10, pick up my PS5, we're going to be lit. Bro, expect. Yeah. A mega, a mega launch hey, day PS5 stream on the um, channel. We about to be lit. Go ahead, pot of luck that I'm highlight. Cool. I gotta tell you about game. So I went. I was going to Walmart, 
Uh -huh. And dude, I went by and they had all their consoles out on the counter. So I stopped by and I got to see the console like in person, bro. Whoa, the PS5s? It was just they had the digital and the physicals like they were labeling them and stuff, getting it ready. Oh. And they said that you couldn't uh, those were all for pre-orders? Yeah, those were pre-order, but I got a pre-order, but they also told me that I think they said they were going to have extras cuz they said we got to have a line yeah, for pre-orders yeah, and a line. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Hey. Hey, I'm trying. Oh, I'm trying my best. Good. I'm trying my best to get a digital one, bro. Hey, you gonna have somebody else come with you pick it up? Nah, 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 nah. I'm uh, I'm gonna just go. I'm gonna just be lurking, bro. I'm gonna get. I'm just. Hey, go yo, Obi, I got a question. What up? Cool. What's up, bro? Are you built like a bug snack? <laughs> <man? laughs> hey, good bug like snacks is lit, bro. No. Hey, no, hey, nah, nah. No. But, but real talk, I'm my kids are gonna be hyped for that game. They're gonna play it. Hey, I'm gonna try it out. I'm gonna see how it is, bro. It might be. It might be Sony's hey. Animal Crossing, bro. We don't know. Okay. Okay. This, is, this, is, this, is, this is my time to leave. This is hey. my time to hey. leave. All right. I, I tell you hey. this though. Hey, Bug Snacks looks like a cross between Animal Stop. Crossing and Pokemon, bro. Okay. Hey. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Hey. For a movie if it hey. Came, so. We got hey. Bug Snack fanboys in the chat. Hey, Magic Mark. Um, what's up, bro? Anish, what's up, bro? <laughs> what's up, OGC? Hey, what's up, man? And again, for the dudes watching the stream, I'm hanging out with the sponsors for a little bit just because I won't be gaming until my PS5 drops, bro. So I still want to come in and hang out with your dudes. Um, what's up, uh, Magic? Now, what's what console are you getting? The Xbox or Sony a PS5 at launch? At launch, I'm grabbing the Xbox Series X. Dope. I'm gonna wait. Don't. I'm going to wait until PS5 makes its way to Costco before I grab it. Lit, lit, lit. Um, are you, are you, um, did you already pre-order? Yeah, yeah, because we were, you were, um, with us when you were pre-ordering it. You got it pre-ordered? I forget. Oh, yeah, that. I got, oh, yeah, I got it pre-ordered. Oh, you got disconnected, Magic Anish. And I know you, uh, you're getting, um, Series S, Anish. Yeah, I'm getting a Series S and I've got a place, I've got two PlayStations pre-ordered as well. Oh, you getting a PS5 too? Yeah, I got both of them pre-ordered. Ah, oh, bro. Oh, yeah, yeah, Magic, you got disconnected, bro. What's up, bro? Oh, okay. Okay, but yeah, I'll I'll be walking into uh, GameStop tomorrow Lit. and paying up everything Lit. and walk out with it. Lit. So, yeah. Hey, dope, man. Hey, share, like I said to Anna, share your uh, thoughts on the console, man, in the chat uh, tomorrow, bro, after you get some hands-on time with it, man. But that's dope, bro. Dope, All right, man. I will. I will. Hope, hope you and your kids enjoy it. Alfonso with the $1 super chat. What's up, bro? What's up? 2K, Obi. Appreciate it, Alfonso. I don't know what I'm hey. going to do, man. Hey, I'm, I'm going to too okay. many games, bro. It is, man. I'm still going to, of course, I'm going to be on 2K. And I'm leaning towards going east as my affiliation. I'm leaning towards going east as my affiliation. That's wild, um, just because when I looked at the map, that's where Florida is located. So the beast from the east is probably be my affiliation in 2K um, because you get more rep when you play within your affiliation. Yeah. So just letting, I'm going to let everybody know in the chat before they choose their affiliation because I know a lot of dudes want yeah. to run with me. If I, go, if I go into that mode, I'll be going south probably. South. Okay. But yeah. I, know, I know that I'm not going to be able to play with y'all because, you know, uh -huh. Xbox and everything. Oh, but. yeah, no cross. And then I tell you, man, one day 2K really needs to think about cross play. But I know why For they do real. it. It's money, bro, because they know dudes buy it on both consoles and they're going to be losing out on money. So I get, I know why they do it. But oh. I'm going to be lit, going to be lit, going to be lit. But I am so hyped for oh, yeah. the launch of Hold the up, PS5, bro. man. Three oh, days man. away. Really, hey. tomorrow is, we're really looking at two more days, bro, because tomorrow the 10th yeah. is already here. Go ahead, Pot. Yeah, I know. I was just going to say, Obi, when are you running for mayor? I know, when you bro. Running... I need to put my bid in one day, bro. I'm going to try yeah, one day, bro. I'm going to try one day. I'm going to just put a campaign out. and have it. But I'm not that big in the 2K community. Like, I'm big on YouTube with just, like, news and stuff. Trinity, thanks hey. for subscribing. You just got a $60 right. digital code giveaway. But I got to earn the respect, bro. I got to grind and do Every some things. So. iPad in 2K. That's right, bro. That's right, man. Do something, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. We got we to gotta do something, bro. But one day I might do it, bro. We're going we're gonna to make a push for it. Yeah, man. So, hey, I appreciate y'all coming by. I'm probably going to be heading out. Um, All right. <laughs> I'm broken your full, bro. You're not crawling on my shoe. It's, no, you got, a ro you got a roach on your screen broken. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> nah. um, yeah, so I'm, I'm going to be heading out. 
Um, it's hype, bro. I can't wait for the PS5, man. It's here. Yes, We're here, bro. And so, hey, did any of y'all order y'all PS5s through PlayStation? No, nah, but I heard some people got them already. Yeah, not just, I don't know if they got them, but I know that Sony definitely shipped them out. So anytime between tomorrow, who's trying to call me, bro? Oh, Stud is trying to, one of the uh, sponsors. Hey, Stud, you got to get in the Discord voice chat. Um, to, to uh, He's still having issues getting into the Discord. Stud, I hope you can work it out, bro. I don't know, I don't know what else I could do to help you. I sent you the invite. You got to link the accounts and you should have access. Um... No, but right. expect a lot of ps5 information yo jersey walk what's up bro expect a lot of ps5 information to start popping up tomorrow when dudes start getting them um from sony bro so it's as early as tomorrow to probably as late as the 12th dudes will start getting know. them yeah they got michael b Jordan now doing sony stuff for ps5 now hey lit man i was okay. um i was i was, was a video what's that so he posted a video of him playing it. I popped it. I popped it in the chat. Oh, dope, dope, dope. Oh, I see it. I'm gonna check it out. I'm gonna check it out. Hey, that's lit. That's lit. Yeah, I'm gonna definitely check that out. Dope, dope, dope. Hey, um, but yeah, man, I'm just hyped, bro. I'm just hyped, man. I can't wait. I, but, go ahead, gonna, go ahead, pot. I was gonna say, bro. To, uh, not the 13th, but the 11th, bro. That's gonna be a long day. Oh yeah, man. Ooh. I'm, hey, but it's I'm gonna try to get some. I'm gonna day. try to get some rest because I know the 12th for me is gonna be a real long day when yeah. I start for the unboxings and all that stuff, streaming and all that. So we got to be ready, yeah. bro. Hey, but I'm heading yeah. out, dudes. Hey, thanks for coming by. Right. Thanks for coming uh, coming through. Um, I see y'all later, man. Of course, Take much care. love. All right, bro. All right, chat. Thanks for coming by for the stream. What do you guys think about everything we talked about? In the stream, sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things gaming, bro. We out. Peace. You still watching this video? That means you like me. You really like me. I got to hook you up. That's right. I'm giving away a $60 digital code every month for your platform of choice. Xbox, Nintendo, or PlayStation. Two ways to enter. One, make sure you're subscribed to this fire right here on YouTube. Two, follow me on Twitter at Obi-Wan Plays. And that's it. You're in for the giveaway. But wait. There's more. Do you want to join an awesome gaming discord with prizes and tournaments? Do you want to get on my friend list and game with your boy? Become a sponsor. Three ways to join. One, subscribe on Twitch. If you have Twitch Prime, you can do it for free. Two, click the join button right here on YouTube and become a member. And the third way to join, patreon.com backslash ob1 plays you'll thank me later also check out the swag bro links are in the description i'll see you later Deuces.